Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn about the Nest.js interceptors. After this, we will go with middlewares and then pipes. Okay, so let's start with the interceptors. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. In Nest.js, interceptors are used to intercept incoming requests and outgoing responses, allowing you to execute some code before or after the request is handled by the respective handler controller method or the provider method okay respective handler would be controller or the provider interceptors are commonly used for logging transforming data error handling authentication and other cross-cutting concerns okay so let's take a look of the logging one so i have created that one so let's create that one so let's go to the terminal so let me open the terminal with this So NVM use 20, I'm going to use, let's create the directory. So NPM, so it will set up a basic Nest.js project. Okay, now CD, my next project. So it will take hardly one minute more. Done. Let's move to the next command. Go to that folder. Okay. Now we have to generate the interceptor logging file with the help of the next generate interceptor login. So here we go with this one. So it will generate that file. Okay. So let's open the code base. Previous, I'm going to just quit this. Open the code. Now you can see in the source, we have the logging. Then we have our interceptors. Okay. So here we have the logging interceptors file. Right. So let's, by default, you can see it's mentioned all the thing, uh, execution command, injectable, nest, everything. Okay. So let's paste our code over here. Okay, so here we have to just open that file and just paste this code. So here we have created the same interceptor before and here just we are doing the logging. Okay, handle.pipe tap console.log after. Okay, so I will let you know about the, what exactly the pipe is. So basically you have to just add anything uh, before you whatever you want to process with you can add. So here just I'm just logging the date. Okay, so let's save this moving to the next one then we have an app controller so we have to use the interceptors there also so just include this interceptor over here so app.controller is there right so let me copy the full fledged code it's not big much of it okay so let's go and add the app controller so this is ts right so let's control a i think app service is also there so let me just add set so app controller is there so just use the get one so let's go i think get is there get controller is there use interceptor is not there so let's add this interceptors from the nest yes, common declare but never used okay so let's export app so here we are just using the use interceptor in the get request okay then we require the login interceptor so here we require this file also So when, whenever there is a get request, we will use this one interceptors. So the path, I think wrong. So let's add the path also here. So here we have a logging, then we have our interceptors, right? So let's add this path. So whenever there is a get request before get request, it will call the interceptor. Okay. Then the service. 
so in the service we will just print hello world get hello okay I think in the app dot service also there is a hello world right now I guess return hello world okay so the same thing is there right so this is done let's try to run this okay so npm run start will help to run this project okay so when I try to hit the get request let's have a look what will happen so let's go to the browser and let's hit HTTP localhost we will put localhost and 3000 and you can see hello world and what will happen in the interceptors you can see before and after one milliseconds <coughs> right so before you um, before hitting this one if you want to modify the response then you can modify the response suppose before uh, like uh, you want to just uh, update the uh, hash the password so you can do such kind of things or before authentication you want to do something or handle the responses you can do so this with the help of these interceptors that you can manage it accordingly right so this is the use case of interceptors any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day